Hey guys, Kev here, and I'm gonna be lazy today. So I got this package here. This is from Fanatic Edge, one of the best modders in the game, and it's my knife. So I ordered a Chavez scapegoat from uh, River's Edge Cutlery. Shout out to River's Edge Cutlery. And I got the G10 version. And what happened is, I was like, Psh, bell going off. Maybe I could send it right to Fanatic Edge and have him mod it to match my 229. Sorry, fucking camera. I hate this front shit. Um, so you got that frag pattern, and then you got the aqua kind of teal blue on all of the hardware and the clip, right? Um... And I just think it's a sexy ass combination. He also Cerakoted the lock side, this black color to match the G10. So it's not like black with plain tie like they come. Um, so it's gonna be pretty sexy. And that is what is in this box. So let's crack into it. I'm gonna probably drop down into a um, desktop view once I get this out. So we'll do the first impressions at the same time here. Um, I figure, why not? Scapegoat, baby. Got my holes over stud shirt on. Shout out to Jake. Let's see, we got bubble wrap, more bubble wrap. Ah, look at this. Some River's Edge cutlery swag. He left it in there. That's nice of him. Yeah, the dude over at Fanatic Edge has been an awesome guy to work with. Um, I bought this Chavez off of him. Um, I feel like I bought other stuff. Oh, yeah, I bought this um, Pena Lanny's clip off of him. And I obviously added the scales, but he did all the Cerakote, which is awesome. Um, dude does amazing work. So, anyway, I'm going to shut up. We have a River's Edge Cutlery card. This is my first time ordering from River's Edge Cutlery. I've been meaning to do it for a long time because uh, my buddy Jake loves River's Edge Cutlery. He brags about them all the time. Brags. Whatever. He says they're awesome. Um, so I've always wanted to order from there, but it just never has matched up. Um, you know, they didn't have the newest, coolest thing that I wanted in stock at the time. You know, things go quick. And I feel like lately they've been um, getting a lot of nicer, newer things. At least that I'm into. Um, check it out. And pardon the um, camera work that sucks because I'm using that front camera and I'm used to the back. So she said, um, thank you, enjoy. Justin, how cool is that? It's got my address on it. We don't want anybody to see that, do we? Um, yeah, I had it sent right from River's Edge Cutlery to Fanatic Edge. You get this cool uh, cloth microfiber thing. I don't, it's not really a mic, is it? Oh, yeah. Wow, that's really nice, actually. It says China right there, but, I mean, who cares? They got it from a promotional products company, which I used to work for one, so I know what it's all about. This is actually a really nice microfiber. So that's going, man, it's kind of like, it's not one I'm really going to use with maintenance stuff. More like something I'd use uh, to clean glasses or something. Here's the box. Chavez, Ultramar, of course. Right there you go. Is that going to focus? Are you going to focus? Uh, belt finish. If I do this. Huh? Huh? Nope. Black G10 handle. This is why I hate this camera. Who wants to use this front camera when you can use the baller one on the back? I'll read it to you. Chavez Ultramar Scapegoat Street 320 River's Edge Cutlery. Scapegoat Black G10 Handles Belt Finish Blade. All right. Somebody has talked enough already. Say, say what? So it comes with an extra clip now. Because some people are douchebags and don't like skulls. I'm just kidding. Um, 
look at that. And again, I'm going to go to desktop, so I'll show all this again. But he even did the extra clip. It looks a different. It's a much smaller clip, which is not going to bode well for the lefty reverse flick, sadly. So I'm a little concerned now. But maybe it's just a smaller knife. Interesting. It is, it seems like. Bang! Look at that. Frag pattern is gorgeous. Same blue color. Got my matchy matches going here. <laughs> if only they didn't do the two clips now, right? Because now they got those stupid screws. He left those black, which I think is kind of cool, actually. It would have looked weird if they matched, I think. So that was smart of him. Okay, interesting. Gorgeous belt satin on there. Oh my goodness. Chavez. Ergos, this feel it. Yeah, fits my hand pretty well back here. And of course you have a, ch oh yeah, you got a choil, son. That's what you do when you hold a choil. You do the choil dance. I don't need another dance. Got your uh, key logo. I love that. M M93. Never heard of that. Let's see the action. Oh, that is one snappy detent. What? It's way stronger than... Hear that? Well, maybe not. Let's try it left-handed. I did it right-handed before. Oh, no. That feels... Yeah, I mean, that feels pretty much spot on. It's just not super droppy yet, which I think will break in. And I can always throw in some barons, if you know what I mean. Now, I'm a little worried about the lefty reverse flick um, because of this here um, clip being... Nope. <laughs> Suck it. Yeah. Mm. Dudes, this thing is actually sweet. Sweet. I mean, I want it to drop shut, obviously. But it flicks out of there like a beast. Really has a strong detail. Oh, man, there we go. Now I can't get it. So you really got to be on that clip to get it. Um... Yeah, that was going to be my concern right there, being left-handed. When you're right-handed, you don't have to worry about the lock bar. You just bang it out. Um, but left-handed, you got to be on the clip, which yeah, I'm pretty used to it on this one to just ride up onto that clip and bang it. Um, but you can see here, this clip is much bigger. Is it? Okay, maybe I'm crazy. Hang on a second. Yeah, it's definitely bigger. But you put them side by side at the same height. It's a little bit longer. I mean, I can land right on it, so it's not that bad. Uh, it's not one of those knives where I'm always like sitting here reverse flicking, you know, like I do with most of my knives. It's one that I actually do enjoy doing the thumb flick with, uh, both left and right handed. Although I will say right handed, you need to be careful because it's easy to get on that lock bar and with these Chavez knives you're not getting that knife out if you're on that lock bar at all so um but we can all be honest these are kind of novelty knives as much as I love his knives and the designs and everything you know you're kind of paying for the cool skull clip and shit right you know what I'm saying all right let's switch to a desktop view I'll get you an up close look at this sexy monster and then we'll wrap it up um, sorry, I thought I saw something wrong and I was like, no. Uh, all right, yeah, I'll see you in a second. Right, we're back. So here she is up close. Let's doze aside. Oh, yeah. Look at that goodness, baby. M Trey Schneidy. Love me some M390. There's that clip. Yeah, I mean, I totally wish they didn't succumb to all the pussies out there who just don't want to use a Chavez clip. Like, if you don't want a Chavez clip, 
don't buy a Chavez. I don't know. Like, he wasn't struggling to sell these, you know. Uh, but whatever. Let's take a close-up look. Oh, look at that frag pattern work by Fanatic Edge. Dude is a monster. Love it. Look at that coloring on the Cerakote. Look at them grindy lines. Gorgeous freaking blade. It's a drop point, clip point, whatever you want to call it. There's the show or the lock side with the black anno on it. I love that. He even does the insert screw. There's that clip. Gorgeous relief cut. Backspacer. No jipping on this guy. I didn't realize that. Let's zoom back out. So in hand with no jimping, that's kind of nice actually. I never thought of that. And there, oh my goodness, this thing just melts into my hand perfectly. Uh, I'm trying to grab some paper here so we can cut. Oh yes. Oh, see I'm, I am doing the thing where you get caught though. Even with the choil, I'm getting caught down here. You gotta make sure you start, you know. You start with some edge. Oh, that's good. Yes, 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 yes. More, baby. Give me more. So, here's the uh, 229, if you're curious. This is what the clip looks like normally. It's what it did look like. See that hole under there? I always wondered about that hole. Does this have that? It does. So, there's something about Chavez and having a little hole down there. Must be part of the backspacer. And on this one, I don't know why that one's white. I don't know. It's interesting to me. I don't know what that is. Somebody tell me what that is. Size comparison. There's your scapegoat. Man, I'm loving that scapegoat. There's your 229. So, I mean, in terms of overall length, it's kind of funny, like, on your blade, it's almost like you get the 3.5. This is 3.6. You're only this much longer, but on the handle, it seems like a bit longer. And it's obviously a little skinnier, and you have the choil, so you're not going to get the blade length. But this has that choil that you can't use, which always bothered me. I mean, you can kind of, like, put your finger in there, but you never would, right? Um, let's show the show side. On this guy, you're going to use that choil, and, oh, my God, it's comfortable. I really like the size of this better. It's a little bit slimmer right here. This one fills the hand out nice. I mean, it's not too big for me or anything. Uh, I enjoy it, so she said, but this is just uber, uber comfortable right here. Um, yeah, I need to work on that right there. I need to do something about that. Usually they come from Fanatic Edge, like drop shut. So, I don't know, maybe this knife just doesn't drop shut. I gotta swap bearings. I really don't wanna mess around with it if I don't have to. Um, I didn't even look at centering. Psh, Riot, dead nuts. Man. Such a cool knife. Yeah, the only things I don't like about these knives are sometimes you get caught up, you know, like you can't get it out. So she said, damn it. Uh, you know, if you don't put your hand in the right place as a lefty, if I put it here, all of a sudden I can't flick it. As a righty, if I put a little bit of pressure down on the lock bar, like I'm screwed. In, oh, okay. I'm screwed in a lot of cases. Uh, how come this one's not a problem? Hang on. I am on the lock bar. And it's not just seizing up. This one, I'm on the lock bar. Yeah, and it does not want to come out. That is weird that it's different. Ow, fuck. How do you have to hold this thing? Like, on the clip? Yeah, I think the detent is... definitely seems a little stronger on this guy which is funny right normally that's something I would be like cooing about how much I love but um, you know I don't want a light detent either but I want one that I can easily flick out I don't have to worry about where my hands are um, I think if you're pretty natural about it it's fine you know and this thing's gonna keep breaking in that's another thing it's brand new right this has been worked in 
Um, so anyway, let's get some other size comparisons out there for you. Uh, I got the Axon here from Vero. You know, it would have been cool if he did a reverse. Uh, no, you can't really do a reversible clip now that I have a frag pattern anyway. Axon is pretty damn similar. Um, it's probably a little closer to the size of the uh, 229, though, to be honest. Uh, what else do I have? I do this every time. I'm like, what do I have that other people have? It's like, that's a 3.15 inch blade on the Pena. Leon Ma, Field Duty. This might be a good comparison. Three and a quarter on this guy. Maybe it's not. So, you can see there, they're pretty similar, actually. I mean, if I go butt to butt, they are butt to butt. Uh, we got a little more blade on the Chavez. Got the Wee Sakshi here from Brandon Thrasher. That one's pretty close. Pretty close comparison. Um, all right, I think that's enough. Maybe one more. Yo Jimbo, too. Yoji. That's a little bit smaller and a longer handle. You know how Spider Code does it. Disregard for blade to handle ratio is a common thing there. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'm really digging this. Um, let me put a little KPL Heavy on it. Just to see what happens, because it seems kind of tight. Feels a little gritty right here. I wonder if it comes dry. Yeah, I mean, this might be one I have to take apart because I don't know what. It just isn't very droppy compared to Chavez's. I mean, the blade is not as big as a 229 blade, so that could be part of it. Uh, these Chavez's have a detent ball ramp, but they never seem to be like the best in terms of how they actually function. Yeah, we're just not getting what I want here. Uh oh. Or is he going to do it? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Pardon me for starting the video and then doing it, but I got to take this thing apart. Better not be any T6s on this. Good amount of Loctite in there. So I have to take the clip off? I don't think so, right? Do I? See how deep they are. Oh yeah, they go into the back spacer. That's what it looks like without a clip. So there's a blue locating hole and a white one. Interesting. So that's the one I'm used to on that. And that blue. I don't know what those are for, honestly. This is not going to come apart, I don't think. So these screws, do they go all the way through? There's no... Look at that.
that's what that is. It's the tip of the screw that I'm seeing over there. Wow. So that's what this is. That's that screw right there. Huh. Interesting. Okay, cool. Interesting. Two stop pins. Another cool thing. What is going on here? There's your backspacer. There's all the oil I just poured into it. So I guess it was dry-ish. Uh, the pivot was on the frag, so just remember that, Kev. Takes five millimeter bearings. I don't have any Gillians. That's what I put into that, Chavez. These bearings feel pretty good, though. But when in Rome, you know, these are interesting. I'm going to leave them because they're stuck in there, but that's cool. Here's the blade. Pretty cool. I think my buddy Naf did a disassembly on this already, but uh, can't hurt to check out, right? Let's just throw a little bit of alcohol on everything. First, I gotta clean this pivot screw. Get all the Loctite juices off of there, or crud, I should say. There we go. You can see the bearings are wearing a good track. Same with the detent ball, so it's all good stuff. I don't know. Could just be that detent is so damn stiff that it, you know. It's not really that stiff looking though, to be honest. Uh oh. Where was this at? In here? Yeah. Alright, what do I want to do? I want to get the bearings. Okay. I think I have one set of five millimeters, to be honest. I think it's these. Gifts. Gillian's. Delrin's. I only have three sixteenths, and I'm going to go ahead and guess they won't fit around this. Oh, what? Look at that. A three sixteenth bearings fit. So weird how some companies do things so weirdly. I don't understand that. I'm going to try these Delrins then. See what happens. Because they can be extremely good for some knives and not so good for others. So we'll see. Interesting that they fit though, to be honest. Okay, so this is going to be weird with those pins. Can I get them out? <laughs> Alright. See what happens, huh? Man, let's just do this though. We can at least switch this guy over to here. It's just that trying to get stop pins in from the other side kind of sucks. But it is a Riot knife, so it seems like. can do it fairly easily. Alright, so, shit. 
I gotta put the pivot in first. I'm thinking I'm gonna take it back out though. Yeah, I'm gonna have to either way to test the um, action before I Loctite it, you know? I may not need to Loctite this knife, but. Seems like that's all good. Put one of these in just to. Not exactly banging, if you know what I mean. I'm trying to reverse flick it, which is hard with no clip to ride. I'm trying to feel out that action a little bit. see that that's more like it now that's you know there's no play in there I loosened the pivot a little to see if it helped there's no play and okay we got a winner guys so take this pivot out not sure why I grabbed this driver all of a sudden but all right, so now we're gonna Loctite it. Now, the sad part is I gotta let it sit forever, right? Sucks, but it's always worth it in the end. All right, that should be plenty to get in there and spread around. Yeah, who knew that 3 16th bearings would fit in here? It's kind of weird, actually. So let me put the rest together, then we'll tune that action back up again. That one's flush. That one, yeah, they're definitely flush there, so I don't want to go any tighter, that's for sure. Were these Loctited? They don't look like it. Hmm. There we go. Never force a screw, guys. If it doesn't want to go, it doesn't want to go. And then I try to let it do its thing. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of how they did this clip. I mean, look at that. There's like a gap all around here, it seems like, right? 
guess it's on some kind of angle too. But if you look at this one, it's flush all around. That one's got a gap and these screws sit up a little bit, but whatever. All right, so let's dial this bitch in. No play. <laughs> Didn't even need to dial it in, I guess. Oh, never mind. Hang on. So, where are we on tightness here? So we can go a little tighter. I'm trying to avoid my thumb. Right, so that seems too tight, obviously. No play. You can't ask for much more than that, can you? Right there. Yeah, I think I'll leave it alone. Centering. Dead nuts. Yep. We are solid. I mean, is that tight? That's my only concern is it's it's going to be loose. No, I mean, I, I can turn it a little bit, but no play. And it should just get better as the um, bearings wear in that track and the detent ball wears in that track, right? So we have it tight enough, dead centered. Yeah, we're good to go. I'm not gonna mess with it anymore. So that guys is the Chavez Ultramar scapegoat with awesome, awesome aftermarket work here. Mod work from Fanatic Edge. I'm an absolute fan of them. Uh, kills it every time. And we have uh, Delrin bearings, 3 16th, 1 16th bearings in there, guys, which is very interesting. I didn't know, I don't know if this one would take those. This one's 5 millimeters, Gillian's that I have in there, so interesting. I obviously don't need to change them in this. There's no reason to, you know, but that was looking pretty much the same. So uh, if you're interested in doing a bearing swap, maybe these would break in. I don't know. And I also didn't try loosening the pivot a touch with those. It would probably be the same way, to be honest. Uh, I just like aftermarket bearings. So um, that's it, guys. Appreciate you tuning in. I love you all. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.